Hey, welcome to video two of our How to Start a Podcast course. And in this video, we're gonna talk about everything around your podcast format. Welcome back to our video course on how to start a podcast. In the last episode, we talked about everything that makes podcasts different and we developed our podcast concept. This video builds on the first one, so if you haven't watched it, jump back to that one before starting this one. We're gonna be answering three main questions. First, what types of formats are there for podcasts and which one works best for your show? How long should episodes be and how often should you publish your episodes? Let's dive into it. So what's the best format? for your podcast. Some podcasts just have a single host. Others are like totally scripted stories. If you're someone who like loves improv and you love like bantering with a co-host, you need to have a co-host. And if you're someone who likes having everything planned out and scripted, then you might lean towards an audio drama or something where you actually have everything written out. But there's no right answer here except for what makes you comfortable. Let's talk about what are the most common podcast formats and what are some of the positives and negatives of each. The first group are interview podcasts. And these are often a podcast with a single host who interviews people often focused on a particular industry. A few examples, um, Joe Rogan Experience, Fresh Air with Terry Gross, How I Built This with Guy Raz, and uh, there's an, one called Trained by Nike. So if you're going to do an interview podcast, I'd recommend listening to a few, or maybe a handful of episodes from those shows. Get a feel for what you like, what you don't, so that you can figure out what you'll do in your own podcast. Second group. So after interviews, we've got scripted nonfiction. These are shows that are mostly serial podcasts, which means they all are um, in one story and they have a single theme for a whole season. They're still nonfiction, but there's a script. They rely heavily on the production side. All right, so a few examples. Serial, hosted by Sarah Koenig, Slow Burn by Slate, and also check out like Dan Carlin's Hardcore History. So a lot of variety between the different styles of shows. Hardcore History features Dan Carlin, literally something like this, just talking directly to you walking through stories in history. Whereas Slow Burn and Serial use lots of audio clips, interviews, voiceovers, heavy production value. Third type is News Recap. So this is a podcast that recaps the news um, and it can sometimes be focused on a specific industry. A couple examples would one be The Daily, which I think is the most downloaded podcast of all time, with over a billion downloads. There's also Planet Money, which gets into financial news. Or you could listen to one of our own podcasts, Buzzcast, where we talk about podcast industry news. So you can see differences here as well. The Daily comes out five times a week and they cover the world news. Whereas we would only publish Buzzcast once every two weeks since there's less news in podcasting than in worldwide news. Fourth type is educational podcasts. These are scripted nonfiction shows that focus on teaching something to an audience. Some of them are ongoing while others are just a single season. So a couple examples, Stuff You Should Know, Hidden Brain, How to Start a Podcast, and The TED Radio Hour. Some of these shows have interviews. They do deep dives on a like a single subject, while others, maybe like The TED Radio Hour, they span a lot of topics. And the fifth main show format is scripted fiction. Sometimes you'd hear this called like audio drama, kind of more similar to radio dramas from, you know, kind of back in the day. Uh, so I'd recommend looking into Bubble by Maximum Fun, which is just hilarious, Limetown, um, and Everything is Alive. Those are three shows you could look into just to get a feel for how this format would work for you. All right, so now that you've heard all of those different styles, pick which one will work for you. We haven't figured everything out yet for your podcast, so feel free to experiment with styles, maybe combine two, and find something that works for you. So just to recap, we've got five interview podcasts, scripted nonfiction, news recap, educational podcasts, and scripted fiction. Yeah, there we go. All right, so how long should each episode be? This may seem a little strange, but this is actually like a controversial topic in podcasting because there's lots of strong opinions. And I think they're a bunch of junk because what really happens is people go, you know, here's a new study and it's not like a journal study. It's like I took the average of all podcast episodes that are all really popular and here's what I got. Imagine if like Rolling Stone magazine came out and said, we figured out every song should be two minutes and 32 seconds. 
Why? Well, because we took the 200 best songs of all time, we took the average, boom, and that's what it should be, 232. Well, you know, give me a break. There's some songs that are really short and awesome, and then you've got like Freebird, which has, you know, 18 minute versions. You get the same thing in podcasting. While most podcast episodes are between 15 minutes to an hour, take a look through the top podcasts. You'll find shows like The Daily, they're 20 to 30 minutes. Accidental Tech Podcast, that's about two hours per episode. Hardcore History, with episodes that are as long as an audiobook. Uh, your podcast should be as long as it needs to be without being longer. So that means be comfortable cutting out rambling segments, boring questions, parts that don't really add much value to the listener. But if you're producing great content, be confident that people will keep listening because they love what you're putting out. All right, so the next thing to think about is how often are you gonna publish new episodes? Now, the great thing about podcasting is that it can be a full-time job for you or it can be something you just do on the side. And if it's the latter, let's lean towards more of a relaxed publishing schedule. On one hand, we've got shows like Entrepreneur on Fire where John Lee Dumas, he's publishing an episode almost every day, at least he did in the beginning, and he's up to over 2,000 podcast episodes. Or take a look at something like Serial that's published the first season in 2014, uh, season two in 2016, and the last one was in 2018. They're focused on making sure they have the highest quality content and the best story, and they're not really worried about taking a few years to make sure they're giving you a podcast that'll be a hit. Now. I don't want you to take a page out of uh, George R.R. R. Martin's playbook and wait nine years to publish a podcast episode. So I want to stress it's important to have some consistency. What I'm recommending here is you publish an episode once a week. We want to create a connection with your listeners where your podcast is kind of finding a spot in their life. So personally, I've got a show that comes out on Sunday. I know I'm going to listen to it on my drive into work on Monday mornings. And there's another one that comes out on Wednesday and it's there when I'm driving home on Wednesdays. And so if they ever miss a week, I notice it because it's become part of my life. All right, so that's everything we have for how to choose your podcast format. So we talked about three things, what type of show you're gonna do, how long each episode should be, and how often you need to publish new episodes. In the next video, we're gonna bring out a bunch of equipment and talk about podcasting equipment and software. We'll answer questions like what microphone you should buy, what software we recommend to edit, what you need to do to record a long distance recording with someone who may be in another state or country. So really excited you watch this video and we'll see you in the next one. <music>